Oh boy, it's flickering. Oh, this My is favorite, okay. there you go. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I moved seat. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, hi everybody, it's just Ubel. It's oh. it's the it's the um, Xeno with Ubel time. And we've got winter semis. Okay, so first of all, two popcorn. The guy that has been just one of my favorite players to watch at locals recently. Uh, but this is a big test. Uh, Fawn is Fawn is one of those players that like will slowly dismantle you through nature of both creative setups and just generally strong fundamental play. Like she has a lot of success with a lot of characters into a lot of really good players. Finds the forward throw into that instance. Oh, and that's those are one of the things that you gotta be ready for. It is like. The, the different tech timings depending on when you get hit by can like are you ready to augment your combos and are you ready for some of the loops and different uh, different setups that a character like Duck Hunt is going to put up like matchup and familiarity is always something that Fawn wields to such great effect see the back and forth poking oh that using the platform as anti-airs is so nice the air dodge even better down tilt into back air Closing down the stock. Two popcorn not far behind. Just needs one starter. As you see him like starting to prep some of these landing fares. Dash attack was a little zealous though. And Fawn was already set up. Finds the up air and it closes out the stock. No sparks. Doesn't need him. Can can go over there. Oh, just with forward tilt. Again, prepping for back air. This should be any sort of follow-up. Didn't commit to the... Uh, the rapid jab, I guess expecting Fawn to shield and not spot dodge. And just that little a little bit can mean you can lose a lot of advantage and a lot of uh, tempo. And holding tempo is very important against a trapping character. The tech on the throw. Both players dash grabbing at the same time. Oh, and that jump got scouted so hard. The juggles are here. Look at Fawn staying so low to the ground with these juggles. Always threatening uh, two popcorn from getting a little bit too low. Another follow-up off the can. 112, and that up smash is going to do it. Yeah, I, I agree, man. Uh, Raz, like the... Like two popcorn just kind of like started playing. I'm not sure if he has familiarity with other games. Like if he's coming from like I don't know, like an anime fighter background. Who knows, right? But he started playing Smash Ultimate and just like has a good grasp on game flow and game sense. Where I feel like he struggles is with like the little unfamiliarities of like just like at that point general experience. Yeah, it's. Like experiencing X character on X stage or recognizing different small situations, but he's playing a really solid character for just like general game sense in Palutena. Yeah. Like Palutena is just going to be good into most, if not all, situations with something. Palu definitely plays Smash Brothers, and Two Popcorn is playing Smash Brothers, which is what we like to see here. We love some good Smash Brothers, some Smashy Brothers. Oh, missing the turnaround throw. That's tough, but a wider stage here should generally help him out. Like, if you're, if the plan nine times out of ten is, oh, if this character's got some weird stuff, I'm going to make sure that I'm adequately prepared before engaging. Then Pokemon Stadium Two is typically a good stage for that. As is like stages like FD or Town and City. Oh, the call out on the explosive flame, though. I guess in that instance, uh, it also would cover something like a jump in, a full hop in Nair, like a landing Nair or a landing pair, perhaps. Oh no, okay. Reversal intact, nice stuff there from Two Popcorn to even up the game. Caught Fawn getting a little bit too greedy, but the up airs are there, and these up airs were devastating before and equally as potent here. Look at how much coverage Fawn is getting. Oh, down, just down there. I kinda want, oh, okay, yeah, the, the full dash in is a little bit tough, not, not. The reaction on the clay pigeon can be a little bit hard given it's a more awkward oblong type of hitbox. I almost want to see like a little bit more auto radical when you are in neutral, of course. Getting out of this corner is going to be a little bit of a task with all of what's going on. Forward throw, but missing the can. It's also scouted the down throw, holding up to avoid the platform, get, gets caught on it anyway. Some tough stuff going on. We see the jump in, a nice avoidance over the clay pigeon, trying to make up that damage. Man, 
Fawn picked up after that. That was such that was such a clean pickup. Oh. Missing the follow up with the double clay pigeon, but still getting so much damage. Four throw into can, looking for the air dodge, find looking for up air in that instance instead of back air out of more uh, aligned timing. But man, Fawn is just starting to snowball here. It's getting tougher and tougher with every passing moment. The parries. Looking for up smash that time, two popcorn, disengaging, finds the throw, just taking the fourth throw. Alright, just another toss, another bomb, another big blow. One throw into Can should do it here for Fawn, but she's not rushing. If there's anything that Fawn does well, it's it's like taking your time and like understanding spacing. She is very much not risking anything with any of these hits. The forward air comes down. Duck Hunt can normally take a long time to kill, but you're not worried about that when you're up two stocks to one, two popcorn dropping down with a two stock, double two stock from Fawn. And that's tough, but you know what? It happens, it happens. Fawn's pretty good. Two popcorn having a chance to run it through in losers. I mean, he's already guaranteed top six. Could be higher, could be lower. Oh, look how happy this dog is. Oh, and he's not happy at all, actually. He's very angry. <laughs> Still, like, I think the... I think a lot of the theory was... Uh, some of the theory was decently correct on the part of new pop, two popcorn, just, like, committing a little bit too soon, like, kind of assuming tempo from Fawn, who's just really good at shaking it up uh, with, like, some uh, the explosive flame that we saw a little earlier getting hard punished with the up smash. Uh, and just constantly on the back foot, it felt like whenever there was all the variance in the traps and the setups. I mean, just like look at that final stop, right? Like, we're gonna, gonna bounce it back through. Let it play. Oh, okay. Oh, oh right. Well, no, winner, winner, no, winner's yeah. finals has got to go. If they 